Welcome back. <laughs> Interesting note. If uh, yeah, I'm a font of information when it comes to this game, font means fountain for those of you who don't know. For those of you who don't speak in ye old English or cool person English, like me, because I'm a cool person. Um, if you sprinkle magic powder on those guys, they will turn into fairies. The same for the wall huggers or sparks. These are anti fairies, the ones that hug the wall are sparks. If you sprinkle magic powder on them, they will turn into fairies. Actually, I'm not sure if uh, sparks turn into fairies in this game. I have not tested that out. But, uh, if you sprinkle magic powder on those three, they will not. Because, I, they're, I don't know why they program them like that, but I guess they're, uh, uh maybe they're physical elements as opposed to... Ah, wrong button. I need to heal, man. I'm not playing good today. That really upsets me. Like, that upsets me more than dying 90 times in R-Type. Just, just jump down this hole and get fairies. Two fairies. Warp out. I, li I really enjoy that warping animation. Oh, hey, that guy's just dead. Oh, come on. Open your eye. Bam. Pow. Right in the kisser. <laughs> Tell me if you can uh, hear my world Zelda music radio. I'll just turned up the volume if you can't. Though I'm pretty sure you'll have gotten that. Those things suck both your HP, one quarter, or one half. No, what do they do a hole? They do do a hole. And they drain your magic. Purposely running into enemies to demonstrate how much damage they do to Link. Now we go up. And there are more anti-fairies. Ah, couldn't break it in fast enough. I know where everything is. I could, like, probably draw this and... I definitely know that if, uh... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I, I know given, like... A piece of paper and maybe half an hour, I could draw the entirety of Ocarina of Time. Maybe an hour. Well, I'm not that fast of a drawer. I could draw the shape of all the uh, rooms in half an hour. But, uh. To draw, like, each enemy inside each room, I could probably do in. Uh. Like a day. I know I could do it in a day. Probably, like, 12 hours. Because, as I have mentioned before, I play a little bit too much Zelda. Just a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> now, you could kill these guys with your sword, though they take way too many hits. The wise man uses the weapon he got in the dungeon. And he always shoots incoming. Like I just wasn't doing. I've been playing this game since I was a young child. Very, very young. Yeah, you see, if they're moving, they're harder to hit. Or if they're running, they're harder to hit. Now this guy turns red and stomps us. I really like the prospect of having to fight multiple bosses. Catch the heart. And... Oop. Catch the pendant. We've got the pendant of courage, viewers. We can be all courageous now. And I think we'll talk to Sarasala and then be done.
We won the Pendant of Courage. We oh, I didn't stay for the spin attack. We will be getting everything this run, viewers. And, uh, it's up to you. The first person that isn't one of the people I talked to on the Skype, the first person, uh, who leaves a message or sends me a, uh, email or private message that tells me whether I should or not will decide whether I do a three heart run or an itemless run or whatever kind of run any kind of run you want itemless meaning like you know no boomerang don't start out picking the boomerang don't get the extra stuff use only your sword and the resources provided to you which really isn't hard. Especially now that we have this. This attack is ridiculously powerful. We could get to the Chris Hulian room if we were playing the um, Super Nintendo version. Unfortunately we are not. Oh, we fancy ourselves a ranger, huh? Well, me fancies myself a ranger's twos. Pow! Okay, yeah, I was wondering if we needed the power bracer or not. But, again, I was right. Let's free all the ghosts. It won't give us anything, but I believe one of these drops us down into a hole. I'm listening to, like, lounge music Zelda right now, and it's really, really nice. If you can't hear this, if, uh, that one drops us down below. Or somewhere. If, if you can't, I just said something you already know. Oh, yeah, that's right, there are rocks there. So I'm going to post this video, uh, I think I'm going to do the race. Oop. Oh, rupee spring. Slashing to make us explode. Uh, I don't think I will have two minutes. Um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I didn't. So I'm going to head down here and bomb that wall and get ourselves our fourth piece of heart, I believe. No, I did. Okay. That's your thief friend? I, I don't know if he's a thief. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is. I'm actually tempted to eat my words and... Uh, And I can't believe you caught me. The speed must have been easy for you to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like a bad guy, though. Anyways, you already know if you could run and bash into anything. For example, trees in the village have useful things in their branches. Well, just try it, okay? See, I I might play uh, Parallel Worlds. It's a really good game. It's really hard, but really good. It's actually not that hard. Some of the puzzles, though, those are devious. No, I'm not. The Sheik's hideout. It would, uh... Sheik's hideout would not be fun for you guys. It'd be 20 videos of me sitting in silence trying to finish one room. Well, uh, no, because I said I'm only going to save in Link's house. I'm just going to have to save state. Bye, viewers.